So I'm joined by Joanne and your daughter, Harriet, and I guess we just wanted to chat a little bit about what you've been doing during lockdown and coronavirus and how you've really upped your fitness and taken the time to work out a lot more. So can you tell me a little bit about what you have been doing, Harriet, during this time? Well, I've been doing like workouts at home a lot and I've been running in the evenings because I feel like it's cooler at night than it is in the morning. And I've been doing Zoom sessions with my athletics coach. There's like 30 of us online. And there was a point where I did it four times a week. That was in May and June. And it really With Ultima me. Athletics. <laughs> because our Very coach, supportive. Us. She did really good exercises. So I also started to do those more and started to do more reps. And that was just fun to do at home. So how much do you think you've improved your fitness? Have you kind of been measuring it? Because it looks like you have had calendars and things like that to tick off certain distances. Well, when I, I, I'm not really a long distance runner, but at the start of quarantine, I was only running like 1.5K every night. But now every night I run 6K, 7K. So my endurance has gone a lot better. And I'm getting a lot stronger as well, just taking the time at home to just work out. Yeah, I mean, there's <laughs> more time off of school and she's just had so much time instead of sitting around doing nothing and also when Harriet got COVID she only really had the symptoms for three days and she yeah. still ran she still did the exercise while the rest of the family's like that on the sofa she did everything she was really good yeah. I mean everything incredible. Me, cause mm -hmm. I know I, en I ended up having to go in the um, COVID hotel for nearly a week. So Harriet was left here to look after everybody. And you were kind of looking after everything, weren't you, Harriet? Because your brother and your dad had it too. So you were kind of looking after yeah. everything. And yeah. what did it do for your, uh, your fitness, I guess, having coronavirus? Did it change it at all? I guess probably you've differed, Joanne, you've kind of been hit hardest. But for both of you, did it um, impact your fitness at all? Um, well, when I was running and stuff, I was sweating a lot more when I had corona. But not really. The only thing that I had was I had a temperature and I had a really bad blocked nose and I couldn't really taste anything. But that was about it. So I don't think, not really. My, my son's had it for six weeks. So he's just starting to exercise. But that's purely, he just didn't shed it quickly. I took four weeks and I'm only up to running four or five K. But I've done it very slowly. But I feel healthier. And it's actually... Now being able to taste and smell food, we're actually, I'm being healthier. I, I don't know what it is about it, but because you can taste the food again. Yeah. But now you know what it's like. Because like. I tend to jump into whatever Harriet's doing. So I was doing until I got ill, the Zooms as well, wasn't I with Lisa? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's brilliant, a family kind of activity because you were in Dubai and you've moved um, over to Abu Dhabi, but you still train with Ultimate Athletics. How's it been kind of changing cities and picking up sports with different clubs or, you know, with different coaches than what you had? To be honest, I feel like Abu Dhabi is kind of more fun because when there's clubs, there's like people, you're with like people with your own age. And in Dubai, when I was doing rugby, I was always the oldest in the team. Whereas in now that I'm here in Abu Dhabi, I'm with a lot of like older people and more people my age. And it's just more fun. And I feel like the school has more opportunities than what I had in Dubai because they have like, like good teachers here in Abu Dhabi. Whereas in Dubai, yeah. they, there was a lot more people in our school. So it was harder for PE teachers to focus on people. Yeah. So we've had a good experience with uh, the new school as well. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, in my yeah, get to go back, I guess, in person in the new year, which would be nice. Hopefully. Because <laughs> you're yeah, also um, participating in golf multi-sports in Abu Dhabi. You just started it, I think. Can you tell me a little bit about how you got involved with that and can fit in another event? Oh, that, that, oh, that's the Abu Dhabi uh, running team. That's just, is that the one you mean? Yeah, that's the one. That's just started two weeks ago. And actually, Harriet's athletics coaches. Yeah, she introduced it to us, and so did Yusuf and Eric. Yeah. So then we started to go because they told us about it. It's really good fun. For me, being a beginner, um, again, and for Harriet, she, it's just extra training. So it saves her running here on her own. She can run there in a group, and you do 
press ups and all this different stuff at the beginning and a proper warm up. And Where at home, you, yeah, at home you might hours. not, you might not stretch properly. So for us, we're trying to go as many nights as possible yeah. and it's athletics twice a week and Zoom once a week. It's like three or four hours a day, isn't it, for you, Harriet, at the moment? <laughs> So has it been a massive yeah. jump for you from going from, you know, total lockdown where you weren't really allowed out to now, I guess you're going all over the place. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Absolutely. It's, it's great. And um, the, the one we've just joined, the Abu Dhabi running group, it's, I think they're only allowed 40, aren't they? Yeah. And it's all social distancing and everybody sticks to it. So it's brilliant. Yeah. And our masks on, and here in Abu Dhabi, you can wear them underneath when you're running, but otherwise it has to be on the face. Yeah, I think it's the same in Dubai. Yeah, no, I think it is the same. And I guess looking at that, you're doing a lot of training, and you have had a couple of injuries in the past, haven't you, Harriet? A few broken bones to that might yeah. have stopped you in the past. Yeah, I broke my foot in February when I was playing rugby. Somebody fell on my foot. And so I couldn't do any like running or any exercise for four weeks. And that re it really kind of made me super mad. So when I got it taken off, I was like, I went straight back into running because he said that I could after a few days. And I guess it just made me want to train harder because I wasn't being able, because I couldn't be able to work out for like four weeks. And when I was a couple years ago, I broke both my arms at school and it stopped me from doing gymnastics for like, a month and I missed gymnastics so much but then when I got back into it I just felt so much stronger so I feel like when I broke when I break bones it just makes me stronger and makes me want to do exercise even more yeah. wouldn't me <laughs> <laughs> yeah so did you have both arms broken at the same time yeah I fell off a climbing frame at school like got my foot caught in the side of the climbing frame yes Oh, God, that's awful. And I guess, yes, that's been a pretty prolonged period of kind of being out from sport a little bit for you. You're away from organised sport than if that was February. Yeah. yeah. So with all and this... Oh, sorry. No, you go. That's all right. And just before you broke your foot, she was just getting back into being competitive again with um, the sprints, weren't you? You were oh, just yeah, starting to feel strong again. And then she broke her foot. And she was just starting to break into the seconds and thirds again and two days after i broke my foot we had this race night that i was training really hard for but i couldn't go to it because i broke my foot <gasps> yeah i think it's just made it more determined now yeah. to be even stronger and faster yeah and it seems like you have got there so is there something that you're looking forward to most about sport returning is it the competitive you know kind of competitive games or races or are there other things that you're looking forward to the most I'm looking forward to going back to athletics training next term with because I do it with a couple of my really good friends and the coaches are just so much fun so I can't wait to go back to training and I love racing so I can't wait to like do duathlons and like the 5k's again because like the environment is just so much fun to be in and I like it how they give us medals and stuff at the end. <laughs> it's hanging up behind you. Yeah. I can't wait to go back to rugby and netball as well because I love playing team sports because like it's just more fun yeah it's nice to have the you know the balance of team sport and when you've just got to rely on yourself that's a bit different when it's just you but rugby you've played in under 15 since you were like 12 or 11 haven't you i am 12. <laughs> oh, oh. Under 15, so, yeah since you I were 10. 10. Yeah. yeah so even in dubai they let her play in the under 15. you love rugby don't yeah. you want to do contact as well yeah. when you're a bit older when we can <laughs> is that would that be one of your main achievements or what are your i guess major achievements that you're most proud of because that's pretty good to be playing an under 15s rugby team when you're 10 11. um i guess just i don't know actually you don't what do. main achievements are. No. <laughs> she just enjoys all the sports last year there was like we had this huge tournament the hsbc tournament in january um that they pick us one player at the end of the tournament and I was the player chosen for like fair play. So I guess that's one of them. Yeah. That was the under 12s, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. That was. Yeah, so that was quite big, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, some of the races you do in Dubai and you yeah. get all the big trophies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you do your best time. No, fantastic. Well, it seems like it's all going well and you're doing really well in preparation for when everything does open it up again. So thanks again for joining us on Golf Youth Sport. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.